to biology class. Let us study the rest of the previous class. The next thing we have to study about stomach. This is structure of the stomach. So stomach is a thick walled bag. It is flattened, U-shaped. It is the widest part in the alimentary canal. It receives the food from the esophagus. The inner lining of the stomach uh, having uh, special glands, it secretes uh, the different types of secretions that helps for digestion. The first one is mucus. It protects the inner lining of the stomach. The second one is the hydrochloric acid. It helps to kill the bacteria and makes the acidic media. It will help for the action of digestive juices. And third one is digestive juices. It helps to break down the proteins into the simpler forms. The next part of the alimentary canal is small intestine. It is highly coiled part. So you can see the uh, structure of the small intestine in this uh, picture. And it also having 7.5 meter long. It receives the secretions from the liver and the pancreas. That means these glands secrete some enzymes helps for digestion of the food materials. This is structure of a liver. The liver secretes by juice. So uh, the below that you can see a small green seed like structure that is known as gallbladder. The bile juice from the gallbladder act on the food coming from the stomach to convert its acidic nature into the basic along with the breaking fat globules present in the food. That means uh, after the production of the uh, bile juice from the liver, it is stored in the gallbladder. That will help for uh, change the medium from the acidic to alkaline. Then only the other enzyme that will uh, function properly. It will help for break down the proteins and uh, other uh, food nutrients. The pancreas is the another organ that also helps for digestion. The pancreas, it is a cream colored gland. The pancreatic juice act on the carbohydrate, fat and protein. This you change them into the simpler forms. The complete digestion and absorption takes place in the small intestine. The enzymes in the intestinal juice secreted by the intestine convert the proteins into amino acids, complex carbohydrate into glucose and fat into fatty acid and the glycerol. How these nutrients absorb into our blood? So this is the structure, internal structure of the uh, small intestine. Here you can see the lot of finger like projections that is known as villi. The digestive food passed through the blood vessels in the wall of the intestine. This process is called the absorption. The digestive food now present in the small intestine is absorbed by the villi. So you can understand the structure of the villi. So it will, this villa structure or finger like structure that will help to increase the surface area and it is rich in blood vessels. If we hold our fingers together like this, the surface area of this finger is very less. But if we hold the fingers separately, the surface area of this finger that will uh, increase us. The same thing happened in the case of this villus. So these finger like projections of the villus that will help for increase the surface area and it will also help for uh, more absorption. Now our body absorbs all the nutrients from the uh, food. The next is assimilation. The process of supplying the absorbed material to the different parts of the body for various maintenance activities of the cell. So that is the meaning of assimilation. In cells, the glucose breaks down with the help of oxygen into carbon dioxide, water and energy. That's a function of glucose. Once again, I told you uh, the uh, carbohydrate that present in the food that break down into the simpler molecule that is glucose with the help of different types of enzymes secreted by glands, different glands. Okay, so we get energy from the glucose through the cellular respiration that unabsorbed food enter into the large intestine. The next is large intestine. It's 1.5 meter in length. The unabsorbed food is sent into the large intestine where the more villi absorb water and the salt from this material. The last step in the digestive system is uh, ejection. 
the rest of the material is removed from the body via the anus the rest of the material means the undigested food materials that is released from our body through anus this process is called ejection now you can understand the uh, function and the structure of the human digestive system the next topic is nutrition in ruminants the grass eating animals that digest their food by the process of rumination are called ruminants examples cow and goat their digestive system have some peculiarities we have also seen the cow eats grass continuously and the swallow it how is it possible we can't do like that they do not eat this food immediately they swallow this food and store in a special structure known as rumen in the rumen the food becomes cut later when the ruminants is idle the cut is brought to the mouth in the small lumps and the animal chews it this process is called as rumination once again what is rumination the cut is brought to the mouth in the small lumps and the animal chews it this process is known as rumination this is the same picture that is given in your uh, textbook the grass is rich in cellulose which cannot be digested by many animals the cellulose in the grass is digested in the cecum which lies between the small intestine and the large intestine so you here you can see where the cecum is present there is large intestine and above that you can see the small intestine so in between that the cecum is present so the cecum having this special type of bacteria it will help for break down the cellulose into the simpler forms the last one is the nutrition in amoeba what is the speciality of amoeba the amoeba is a unicellular eukaryotic organisms in microscopic single cell organisms like amoeba have a cell membrane a round dense nucleus and many small bubble like vacuoles in its cytoplasm amoeba changes its shapes for locomotion catching prey etc by the use of pseudopods so what is a pseudopod means it's a false feet so this is structure of a unicellular amoeba so the outermost line that represents the cell membrane inside that dotted part that represents the cytoplasm this bigger structure that uh, denotes the nucleus then uh, pseudopods you can see the finger like projections that is known as pseudopods that means false feet it will help for locomotion and also engulf the food particles okay so from this picture you can understand how the pseudopod engulf the food particles from this picture you can easily understand the different stages in the nutrition of amoeba in the first picture you know that amoeba produces the pseudopodia and it helps to engulf the food particle in the second one this pseudopodia that completely uh, what encloses or a trap that food meditin inside the food vacuole and the, now the food vacuole that is present inside this cell this food vacuole that secretes some of the digested juices it will helps to digest the uh, food materials present in the food vacuole and after that this nutrients that is absorbed into the cell then finally uh, you can see that assimilation of the digested food this absorbed nutrient that is used for their reproduction that is uh, multiplication then movement and also for their uh, other life process then after the completion of the digestion you know that it produces some of the waste material so they, they expel their waste material through the vacuole that vacuole is known as contracted vacuole so like the uh, human uh, digestive uh, mechanism we can see the different stages like uh, uh, ingestion then digestion absorption assimilation and ejection these same steps we can see in all organism the basic process of digestion of food and the release of the energy is same in all animals so that's about the uh, nutrition in amoeba 
So let us summarize uh, today's portion. The first we discuss about the digestion in a uh, stomach, then small intestine, its structure and uh, function. Then uh, next is large intestine, it absorbs water, it also having villi. Then the last step in the human digestion is the ejection. That means removal of waste materials from the waste material means undigested food from the uh, alimentary canal through ENS. And the next section we discuss about the digestion or nutrition in ruminants and also amoeba. Thank you all.